Hey, welcome back to the print house, guys. Today I'm doing a video on uh, cutting blades for the Roland BN20. Um, I wanted to do this video a while back because I did a bunch of cuts. I did like a thousand cuts one time, and um, I was using these uh, Amazon blades. And I usually, in the past, like with my GravTech over the years, I've never really bought generic blades just because I always felt like those lasted. But up until I got my HP Latex, I started buying clean cut blades. And it seems like that one lasts pretty well on my latex, but um, I wanted to even try cheaper ones off Amazon because I always hear good things about, you know, the cheap ones, whether they work or not. So um, I picked up uh, these HQ Master um, blades. I got 45 degrees and I got 60 degrees. Um, they're, the link's in the description. They're cheap. You get 10. I'm, I'm literally on the same one. Um, with the same one that I have, yeah, like I can look in here. Yeah, I only have used one so far. The uh, I've done about a thousand cuts of these uh, the two and a half inch round um, beans, these bean decals, and some other ones. But I know for sure I did a thousand on those, and um, I even did a bunch of perf testing on it, and that blade's still cutting flawless. So for cheap blades. Why not? You know, I'm using Oracle. I'm printing on Oracle 3164 and uh, HP Prime uh, Air uh, GP. So it's cutting. It's cutting on both of those perfectly fine. Um, on my VersaWorks software, my blade force I have is 65. But that all depends on your setup, where you're at, and how your blades set up. Um, I do notice it seems like the blades on these Rollins. You have to extend them further out from the blade holder than I would normally, like on my uh, latex or my graph tech. But it works fine. So the links in the description. These are for those rolling uh, 45 degrees and the 60 degree from HQ Master on Amazon, and um, it's good to have them on hand. Even I, when I originally bought them, I'm thinking, okay, even if they don't last, it's still cheap, and if you're in a pinch, you got blades that'll work, right? Um, so, but they're lasting longer than I thought they would. So if you're in the market for blades for the Roland BN20, um, try out these Amazon blades. Um, I hear people, some of the complaints people have given, I've never, I haven't seen it with the ones I bought, but they'll get chipped uh, points out of the 10 packs. Sometimes there's like a, one of the points are chipped off. Well, these are not, I've checked all of these and, um, or they wear out fast, but they really, they really, I mean, I expect them to wear out fast anyways, but, they haven't worn out yet. The one that I'm in hasn't worn out. That I think that's pretty good for, especially doing if you're doing perf cuts. That puts a lot of wear on the blade. So, um, yeah, I mean, try them out, see how they do for you. I mean, it's a good, cheap alternative than buying you know expensive rolling blades. Um, you can buy the uh, clean cut ones too. I recommend those. You don't get as many again, and you will pay a little more. But I feel like those blades are, are superior. Um, I have no have no time with those on the rolling. Um, sorry if the video is shaky. I got it on my, I keep touching the desk. So, but, um, try these out and, uh, I, I confirm they work fine for me. I haven't done the 60 and uh, 60 degree yet, but I'm, I'm only on the 45s and, uh, they seem to be working fine. So I'm pretty happy with them. So links in the description. I just wanted to do a quick video on my thoughts on them and, um, you know, go from there. Um, that's all it is. It's just a blade. So um, try them out. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, hit that notification. And just hit that notification uh, bell because I've got other BN20 videos coming up. I've got latex videos coming up. And I got my uh, I got some shirt stuff I'm, I'm, I'm going to be pressing. So uh, keep an eye on that stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.